How you doing? I gotta patch you through. Hold on one sec. Okay, now I can talk to you here. I should be able to hear you here. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I've been. I got parrots. I was successfully patched up. Oh yeah. Good. Good deal. Real good. Good. I hear. I hear you loud and clear. No, it's superb. Excellent. All right. That's all uh, right. Superb. Whatever. Okay. Good. 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 <coughs> so, I I would like to start by mentioning that I was uh, first introduced to WFMU by uh, driving a rental car in 1991 and driving around New Jersey and listening to bands on the station and then I would drive to Pier Platters and, and buy some of the CDs that I heard on the station and then go around the corner to a place I don't remember the name of and get a flame broiled veggie burger. To top it all off, and it was a lot of fun. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice afternoon spent over there in Hoboken area. Wow, you <laughs> What were you doing in Hoboken? Oh, I just wanted to uh, record shop. I had never been to New York before, and I ended up driving to... Uh, up the entire Garden State Parkway from top to bottom, and I drove to Philadelphia, and I met a pen pal who was doing an outdoor art show, and I made time for record shopping, as I always did and still do do. So the name of your out- outfit is uh, yes. Longmont Potion Castle. Longmont is a town in Colorado, sort of near Denver. Is that sort of right? Yeah, it is. And is that it's kind of between, between Denver and Boulder for any listeners? Is it's pretty weird up there. So that's where you're from. Uh, that's where the moniker is from. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah. Uh huh. You bet. Uh huh. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, I guess we should. I should tell folks that uh, I'm talking to. I think I'm talking to the person. Or one of the people behind the Longmont Potion Castle uh, calls that we hear very frequently on this program and have for years and years. And it took some tracking, a little bit of tracking you down because uh, maybe for obvious reasons you're not, uh, I don't know, the name you were born with is not publicly attached to the Longmont Potion Castle uh, body of work. Oh, it, yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's factual. Yeah. Uh-huh. When did you start? Did it, is it all you? Is it all one person? Is this all the work of one person? I mean, 95, 97, 98% of it. There's a fellow or two in the background there. There's been a, somebody who hopped on the line. Or so. Oh, uh, but if anyone wants to look at it as a, as a group or as a, you know, kind of a group entity, that's fine by me. I've never dissuaded anyone from doing it, but that's that's okay, too. But yes, it's my fault. Uh-huh. It's your fault. Blame you. And when did it start? Oh. Oh. I started off, yeah, in the 80s, didn't I? Uh-huh. And taper- after school. It started after school. So how old were you when you started doing this work? Uh, four? Five, <laughs> I want to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, you know, I don't know. Yeah, 14. Yeah, 14. Yeah, 14. Yeah, 14. And did you, 14. Always, did you always 14. tape record it, or was it 14. just just for fun at, in the beginning? 14, yeah. Uh, what? Part of a work program. Part, program. Part of a, a work program. Part of a work release program. program. What I had was, uh, it was for fun. It was for fun. It's a lot of fun. That's. Um, certainly fun to do and to hear. When did, so when did you start tape recording them, or had you... Oh gosh, when you're making a 180-minute album, it's also a lot of effort and work and concentration and focus yeah. and ebullion. Well, one of the... So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cornucopia of uh, elements. Factors in there. Factors in there. 
Let's talk about how people react. Uh, one of the things that always amazes me is how quickly people react to just wanting to kill you. And it ha- sometimes happens within a matter of seconds. And it always, the, the amazing part of it is that they could always just hang up. But instead of hanging up, <laughs> they talk about how their, how their time is too valuable to talk to you. I know, right? It's, uh, it, it strikes me as being pretty elemental. Yeah, but you people oh. have people get so mad at you. <laughs> it's true. I've uh, and that's 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 where it ends. You know, no one really ever got hurt. Did you? Knowledge. Did you ever regret any calls that you made? Did you ever feel bad when you hung up your side of the phone? Oh. No. Oh. No. 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 Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Yeah. Uh, have you heard something that you felt went too far? <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, no, okay. but... Hi, it's Alex. Sorry, I can't answer the phone personally right now. I think that's okay. Alex Trebek for 100. Just, just checking. <laughs> I was just checking if you think things have gone too far, you know. Yeah. Uh, another thing I like is when people try to reason with you. You know, they try to talk you out of do of your whole life, basically. <laughs> Son, <what? laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was unexpected. Yeah. Uh, so this kind, this type of work is not everyone's cup of tea. I happen to like it very much. Uh, Thank you. And enjoy lis- you. listening to it. It's, uh, but not everybody's cup of tea. What do you say? Yeah. How, is there a, a a way that you, you know, I don't want to over intellectualize it, but uh, what's That's your. That's good. That's we, important. Yes, what do, what do you can't take your call now. What do you At say? The tone, please record your message. I'm with you. What do you say to folks who, who's, who's it's not their cup of tea? Are they wrong? Uh, uh, I was eating a falafel one time at, on the sidewalk at a restaurant, and this guy came by on a bicycle. And I had met him uh, uh, the weekend prior at a party and he saw me there and he stopped his bike and he said oh hey hey by the way i played your cd for my neighbor and she barely even got into it dude okay bye <laughs> right so, i mean i finished my falafel i'll put it that way are you, what are you gonna do are you vegetarian i'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna, gonna let my falafel go to wait go to wait go to wait, go to wait, go to wait, go to wait wait oh heck yes Yes, I am. And I you? Think, uh, no, I'm pescatarian. Yeah, so you like uh, you'd like to get aquatic? Is that it? Exactly. And I actually had falafel last night. So, and I I did. Oh yeah, I felt good about it. Oh no, you're right. So what what percent cool. of calls that you've made have you released? Right. Oh, oh, oh well, that I've made. Oh jeez, you know it. Uh, like how many minutes recording is how many minutes released? Like the ratio. The ratio, good oh, word. I, uh, Let's talk ratio. Okay, take if you take uh, volume thirteen, which is the newest uh, release, uh, that was one hundred and eighty minutes, approximately three hours, and uh, I probably rolled tape for. Uh, 500 minutes, yeah. 600 minutes, so maybe triple, uh, um, triple the time. So it's about a three to one ratio, approximately. Yeah. Right. Uh, folks can go to longmontpotioncastle.com to, uh, f- to find volume 13 and, and other volumes as well. Uh, one of the problems or one of the things about prank calls is that very often they were, the, the original stuff came out in cassette and it was very easy to duplicate, especially since high fidelity may be not as important as in music. What are you talking about? So I think a lot of people probably copied these and shared them with people. How do you, did that ever, yeah. did that make you unhappy? Uh, which, oh, uh, I was not a happy camper, uh, in general, if I'm going to get, uh, perfectly canned with Michael. Uh, so. Do these sell well? Have they sold well? Uh, my album releases? Yeah, your hits. 
Oh. Oh, uh, uh, no, but the people who have them are generally happy. Right. Uh, and that's, you know, been enough. Has been forwarded to an automated been, voice oh, messaging system. That's, um, so no. So are you, <laughs> do you come before the Jerky Boys or after the Jerky Boys in the line of, uh, of people that do your work? I think it was con- concurrent. Although they probably would say they were the first and everything. I was making cassettes in the 80s. I don't know. Uh, I, I certainly wasn't aware of them when I started uh, well, in uh, the mid-80s. When you do this kind of work, do you uh, sometimes have a beer or uh, anything else that relaxes you? Yes. Yes, I do. And... Um, do you, f- do you pick phone numbers from uh, uh, phone book or randomly or newspaper ads or how, what? How do you, how do you know who to call? I've got a plethora of sources. You're you're into <laughs> moisturization and uh, Rolos and other things. What else are you into? Oh oh gosh, uh, I think that. Uh, there's a lot of admiration and uh, that deserve it uh, and, and <laughs> masonry hmm. masonry is good so what are some rules to live by besides vegetarianism what else what other good advice do you have oh, uh, uh, destroy ancestor worship uh, one of my favorite. You're a separate person than your ancestors. That's right. Let's talk about Mr. Underbaki, if we could. Mr. Underbaki, sure. One of my all-time favorites, and I tried to look him up in the phone book, and it looks like he's not practicing anymore, unfortunately. Big fan oh. of at Mr. Big fan of Mr. Underbaki. Uh, <laughs> I just love him. I mean, I just love Mr. Underbaki and Associates, but. Primarily him. He's something else. <laughs> Is it Lewis? <laughs> I think it's Lewis. Yeah, Lewis Underbaki. I mean, did you call that guy a billion times? <laughs> a trillion. Perhaps a trillion? Uh, a tri- quadrillion. And then uh, what you hear on the album is the octillion. Octillion to call there. Uh, no, I I applied for a job there and he was freaky and he kicked me out. And have you ever gone in for a job and they hired you right then and you're supposed to start work immediately and drop what you're doing and your shift starts in ten minutes? Never. And neither had I. And I didn't handle it very well apparently. And I said, Oh, I gotta go to the airport. This is Lou Underbaki. At the sound of the beat, <laughs> please leave your name and phone number. And so. <laughs> That's Underbaki. There he is. He sounds a little older. <laughs> oh, and then he said, get out. Give me a call when you're serious. <laughs> uh, I, I ran into a guy who, who actually did work for that guy. And um, and then at the holidays, uh, the gift that he gave his employees was homemade soap. <laughs> I'll make bars of soap, and that's what my my friend got for his effort. Wow, that not a cash bonus, not any time <laughs> off, not a hey, good work. But no, here's some thing I'm supposed to rub all over my skin that came from your handiwork. There, I don't know, I don't think so, my friend. Yeah, I don't want to go into Mr. Underbaki's basement <laughs> under any circumstances. So, Heck no. So, so what about law enforcement? Have they ever contacted you? Uh, yeah. And what's their? Uh, what do they say? Oh, you, know, you mean in the old days? Hey, uh-huh. Ever? Hi. Uh, you there? I'm still here. Yeah. You there? You there? You there? You there? Uh, so law enforcement, they were just incredulous and. Uh, and I brushed them aside. So they, you, you denied. I did. I did. Uh, I remember something uh, to the effect of, 
Oh, that other party was not interested in talking to me? Oh, I had no idea, because they told me they were. <laughs> like a he said, he said. Oh, uh, okay. Um, and just trying to just to convince the police, the police officer that whack lives matter is the heart of what I was getting at. Whack and lives? In those terms, yeah. In those terms, he really just kind of let us go, as it were. Gotcha. Let us all go. <laughs> <laughs> My other favorite may be Rope, Mr. Rope. Oh, boy. That's cool. That guy wants to meet that's you, but very badly. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's, what, 1987? Yeah. Is wow. it? That's So that's one of your older hits. Yeah. That's going way back. But it's cl- um, it's cl- forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three, three, four, three. Yeah. What I love about uh, that call, though, is it, it like a lot of your calls, it's that's why I asked earlier what percentage we get to hear, because it sounds to me like you, that guy knew you, you know, because like after f- a few minutes he goes, oh, I thought it was you. You know, like what we're hearing <laughs> is just the boiling call over. Call forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. You know, you've yeah, done... Well, you know, my, uh, my approach has changed over time. Maybe with that guy, I would, or at that period when I was calling that guy, I might wake up in the middle of the night day and... Actually, I uh, pick up the phone and, and call some of these numbers as opposed to having a scheduled session on the books where I went for it during, you know, uh, set times. I might actually just call the guy and want to talk to him at, at you know, 4 a.m. So that kind of played into it, too. When I did record it, he was aware of, the, of that, I'm sure. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my overall approach has changed a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, and then and then one of your you went through a period where you just would call people kind of and threaten to whip them or something, and almost all of them were <laughs> happy to meet you. They were almost immediately they would yeah come on down and bring it. Were those people in Colorado those <laughs> those whip inviters? Yeah, most by by and large, by and large, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, do you have a favorite call that you've... Uh, it's a Colorado thing, I guess, yeah. <laughs> and favorite? Then, yeah, favorite fa- Hayseed? Favorite... No, j- favorite all-time... A favorite Hayseed? Favorite all-time <laughs> telephone call that, that you've favorite made? Favorite track? Yeah, favorite track. There you go. Oh, wow. Uh, Number one hit. Wow. I like the first album. I mean, if I had never done anything else... Uh, in my life, and some people say I haven't, actually. But if I had never gone on to do anything besides that first album, there's some stuff on there that I like, that I enjoy hearing, still. And we're coming up on 30 years. Oh, Nipper. The guy who, like, was lifting weights. Oh. Favorite? My favorite hayseed? So why do you do this? Oh, you know, I don't... I'm not aware of anyone else doing it. It's a void. To fill the void. I'm filling the void, as it were. Hey. Yo. Yeah. Well, uh, once again, folks can visit LongmontPotionCastle.com for information about you and your work and can can download it and uh, purchase it. Yeah. Definitely. 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 A good Thanks way... Thanks for having, having me. me. A good way to celebrate the April Fool's holiday, I think. Uh, uh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful station. station. You have a wonderful, wonderful program. program, program, program and and I'm psyched, I'm psyched, psyched to participate, psyched to participate man. 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 Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Well, thank you. Totally. totally. Ha- have a good have one. A good one. Uh, uh, talk to you again soon, soon hopefully. hopefully. Okay, I'll see you on the corner. I don't know, I'll be there. 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 Be